YouTube land. This is Cynical Enigma coming back at you with another video. Actually, a video that I haven't done in a long time. Uh, this is going to be, I think, my first pickups video since about six months ago, I think. Or four or six months ago, or maybe even longer. I don't remember. But I got quite a few things uh, since I did my last pickups video. I. Uh, was having some problems in between now, or well, in between then and now, but I got everything sorted out. And uh, there were times where I had a little extra money that I had to get some stuff. And uh, I do want to thank my friends for also hooking me up with uh, certain things that I got here that I'm going to show you guys um, about maybe <clears throat> I want to say over half of the stuff I have I'm going to show you guys was given to me by my friends and the other ha other half I I got myself so uh, without further ado let's get on with it um, first off Walmart is selling the Nintendo Hot Wheels for $3.97 I believe $3.97 I believe that it's $3.97 um, when I got there of course all the re uh, the resellers in my town got there before I did. Um, bought them all out. There was only two of these left. And this is the Mario Kart one. Um, so this is the only one I can get. But there are three other Walmarts around this area. It's not in town. I'm going to have to go out of town to get it. But thank thankfully it's not that far away from it. Probably about 20 minutes away. But uh, 20, 30 minutes away, whatever. In Illinois. But uh Anyways, I got this. It's pretty cool. Um, I like collecting. If something new comes out like this and it has the retro look for like old stuff, I'll buy it. You know, it doesn't even if it's not game related, I'll buy it. Um, over at Kmart, they had uh, their cl they had a clearance sale, so clearance plus half off. I paid two dollars for this, I believe. For three dollars, it was five fifty nine, whatever half of that is. And uh, it's uh, I got two of these. Uh, I got one in case anybody in the Facebook group wanted to do a trade. No one has gotten back to me yet, but this is super cool. I believe this is just a Super Mario Brothers. Can't go wrong with that. Three bucks. Moving on to my 3DS games that I've picked up over the summer. Um, I paid 20 bucks for this at my local pawn shop. It is Pokemon Omega Ruby. I'm trying to get back into the Pokemon games, the current games and stuff, and it doesn't have the manual or anything. It just has the game in the case and the artwork. Um, I do plan on getting the inserts for it in the manual. Overall, it's pretty good. I have not started playing this yet um, due to personal reasons, but I'm going to start playing this when I go on breaks at work. So, next in line is. I have no idea why I grabbed this. Um, it is a Resident Evil Re Revelations. This is, I know, but I recently got Resident Evil Mercenaries and I mistakenly picked this one up instead of Mercenaries. My bad. I don't know. I was just out of it today, I guess. Um, next is, I got, I got this from Pawn Shop for four bucks, Donkey Kong Country Wii. Has the manual and game, but uh, I need to get the insert. Um, next, at Walmart, Wal uh, check your Walmarts because they're taking all, I don't know if they're doing this anywhere else, but they're taking, in my town, they're taking the majority of the Wii games off of their shelves. They're the games that are behind the glass and marking them down and uh, putting them in the, into like you know the cheap games section they have a whole have three big old fucking baskets full of the games and stuff especially Mario games and when I seen this I knew I had to have it because I have the first one well I'll show you the first one 
It's Nintendo Selects, but you know me, I don't give a fuck as long as it's a game and I can play it. Hey, um, this one is still sealed. I've had this for, I want to say, probably, fuck, god damn, like two, almost three years now. Um, I do have another copy that's opened that I uh, installed onto my Wii. So I bought this for collector purposes. I'm not going to sell it. I want to get it in case and, you know, have it have it displayed into my collection. Um, put this back where I got it. Next, this is the game I was talking to you guys about over at Walmart. I uh, got uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2 for 20 bucks. And it's still sealed, and I do plan on keeping this sealed. Uh, reason is, is because I already also have it and uh, I do want to get this in case somehow with that and you know display it into my collection next before uh, Club Nintendo went down well not went down but uh, stopped doing their Club Nintendo business uh, if you bought the Nintendo Wii U and 3DS Smash Brothers, you would get this free CD of the or soundtrack CD uh, from Club Nintendo, and I got a copy. I got lucky enough to get one, and I have not opened this yet, and I do not plan on opening it. Opening it because it's a collector's piece, in my opinion, and. Sometime when I move out of here within the next six months, hopefully I get a basement and I can customize basement to my liking to have everything being displayed. Moving on. I picked up Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, Best Buy had this for 30 bucks, but I price matched uh, them with Amazon for $14.90. I know this game's broken. It needs to be fixed, and it's not going to be fixed because Syndicate is out now. I, I don't really care. I, uh, I, I am still a diehard fan of the series, and I do plan on beating this uh, soon before I actually pick up Syndicate. So hopefully between now and then, that uh, price will go down on Syndicate. So it's pretty cool. Next, I got a small bundle of Super Nintendo games that my buddy gave me for uh, helping him out with a few things I guess and uh, those games are Desert Strike Shaq Fu Tetris 2 Super Mario World and Championship Cool. Now, uh, most of my collection, I want to say about maybe half, I had to sell. Uh, if you guys have been keeping up with me, you know why. Uh, but I'm slowly starting to get my collection back. I'm probably not going to be buying any more, like going out of my way to buy retro games anymore because they're just too damn expensive. And uh, there's everybody, you know, tries to beat out. The resellers try to be out, beat out the collectors, basically, in my town. And uh, it's too much bullshit to deal with. So I'm still going to collect only when I find shit that, that uh, I want. And I'm not going to go out of my way, like I said before, and you know, go to Goodwill or whatever. I'll go there, like, if I have time or if I'm close by that area then I'll, I'll stop by. But other than that, I'm just going to stick with uh, buying the current stuff because I'm pretty sure sometime down the line that stuff is going to be expensive as shit to get. So instead of paying like $300 for a fucking Super Nintendo game, mm. I'll go out and spend like 20, 30 bucks on a, on a PS4 game or something or whatever. But anyway, that being said, next PS4 game I got was Saints Row 4. I got this on the release. When it released, uh, this game is broken as fuck as well, but it's still fun to play nonetheless. Just a little glitchy, that's it. And I understand that the game is, is supposed to be glitchy, but it has its moments where it kind of fucks up. But uh, next, 
I got the Taken King, the Destiny Collector's Edition of the Taken King. This is pretty sweet. Uh, this cost me $84 to get, and I believe we got free shipping. And uh, I'll probably end up doing an unboxing of this uh, in a separate video. I just want to get along or get get this video moving along. Sorry, uh, I don't want to try to make it too long and boring for you guys. But uh, anyway, I mean, I got the Destiny, the Taken King Collector's Edition. I thought it was pretty cool. This is what you get. Next, I pre-ordered the Batman Arkham Knight uh, Limited Edition. And it's pretty sweet. It's uh, This was 100 bucks, and shipping was free. I believe I pre-ordered this on Amazon. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I have not opened the game yet and I've had this since June. And I haven't gotten around to playing it. Um, I know it's I know it's pretty sweet. I've seen gameplay videos of it. I've even tried it out myself on my buddy's PS4 with his copy. Um, I, Like I said, I just haven't had the time to get around to playing it yet. Uh, but anyways, yeah, this is pretty sweet. Next, can't remember if I showed this in any of my previous videos or not, but over at uh, Walmart, they had these marked down on clearance for $29.99. So I had to pick this up. There was there was one PS3 and one 360 one. I picked one up. I picked them both up and gave the 360 one to uh, my buddy Maskey since he's helped me out a lot in the past, and he wanted it, so I picked it up for him. And. Uh, this is the Arkham Origins Collector's Edition. Everything in here is still brand new. I already own the original Game of the Year edition copy, I guess, for this. So I'm not going to open this at all. It's just going to be a collector's piece. Um, moving on. A really good friend of mine help, or, uh, got this, picked this up originally for himself. But since I'm currently helping him out with a project that he wants me to help him out with, uh, he ended up giving it up, giving it to me, and I'm I'm guessing that this is like 40 bucks everywhere. But he ended up getting this for 30 at GameStop, and this is a 20 inch statue of Link. Comes with a pretty sweet uh, shield and uh, the sword and the sheath right here. Um, I do plan on keeping him in its package because I love the packaging. Anything that has to deal with uh, toys, especially from Nintendo, I love I love the packaging. Everything about it. Um, I'm not gonna take them out. Um, I'm like I said. I'm want to try to have a, create a display area for all this kind of stuff, kind of like what I got up here. But this is messy. That's fucking messy. It's too messy. I need a bigger place, so that's why in about six months my ass is moving out of here. And moving on to the last thing, I got this in uh, Illinois when I went. When I was off when I was off for one weekend and it was me and my girlfriend and my daughter and her son went to uh, Illinois you know Galena and they had the, like a whole fucking mile long uh, street full of nothing but fucking uh, shops like candy shops you know clothes stores uh, and they also just added on a comic book store or something like that comic games and more or something I have no idea I don't remember the name of it. Uh, have fun collectibles. And uh, anyway, I seen this there for ten bucks, and my eyes widened up right away because I knew what it was, and I remembered it, and uh, I had to get it. It was only ten bucks. I said, "What the hell?" This is Guitardo from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and this is brand new in the package. Look how sweet that looks. Pretty awesome. But that about does it for my pickups video. Um, I'm probably going to start doing an uh, unboxing series of Unbox This with a middle finger. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, anyways, you know, I hope you guys like this video. Help me out by getting a like or hitting that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe now for more content. I assure you guys this is only going to get sweeter.
that you can guarantee from the sim man anyways i'm heading out you guys have a nice day night weekend monday whatever peace